Well now, General, what do you think of your new position? But uh, I ain't moved. Oh, Crusher, you luckhead. If you had two heads, you'd be lonesome. I shouldn't be so hard. After all, that non-person whose name we no longer mention was no rocket scientist. What's important is... Oh, dear me! A battle! But is it an exploding battle or not? How will I ever tell? Perhaps you could help me with this dilemma, General Crusher. I can do that, uh-huh. Well, all right. Oh, goody. Blind obedience. Oh, look, General. Another barrel. Everyone say morning to a bright new glorious day. <laughs> Sun's arising and breakfast will be ready at all 700 hours. Stop. <laughs> hey, where's Mr. Clump? You mean the rooster with the barrel belly? I'm gonna wrap that hugo around his neck. Uh, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, just fine. Good. Well, he was only trying to help. Oh, Dixie's right. I'm sure this is just going to take a little time. <laughs> Where are we going, General? To see some sort of insidious device by which I shall finally gain the coveted crystal coconut? No. I just wanted to drive the car. Zoom, zoom. It's about time you learn, Crusher. There's more to being a general than zoom, zoom. New uniforms. A plan, Crusher, to steal the coconut, an idea, a brain blemish, even a hemispheric hiccup. Anything! Left turn, Crusher! We're heading back to the base for a brainstorming session. Left. Right. Right. No! I mean... <laughs> DK, look! Clump's monkeying around with Cranky's trigger barrels. Hey, what are you doing? Putting a spit sign on Cranky's barrels. Well, that's certainly gonna surprise me, did he? Huh, here he comes now. This is really gonna send the old sourpuss over to my side. <laughs> Uh, I guess I better go start making lunch. I'll be right down, Mr. Clump. I know, Dixie. He was only trying to help. Tell that to Cranky. <laughs> when he comes down out of orbit. Uh, don't, don't mind me. A little crease is all. Uh, you dance. Set it on fire. Then we chop down the tree and dig some big dangerous holes. Yeah, big dangerous holes and oh, get some nasty animals and great big furry spiders and, and, and lots of broken bits and sprinkle it around. And, what does all that have to do with getting me the crystal coconut? Coconut? <sighs> Why do I suddenly find myself wondering whatever became of that unmentionable non-person? Uh, he's living with the apes. The apes? Yep. That's what the spies say. Oh, the apes! He's <laughs> living with the apes! <laughs> oh, 
I'll bet the non-person doesn't even know it. Donkey Kong's elevator has never worked right, Mr. Clump. It will when I get finished with it. So, how'd you like living here? To tell the truth, Dixie, uh, it ain't so easy living in trees. But I'm getting the hang of it. I'm proud of the way you're trying to fit in by helping everyone out. Yeah, well, don't tell no one. But I think the others are starting to, well, like me. Even Cranky. And I won't lie to you, Dixie. I ain't never had friends before. Oh, here comes Donkey Kong. Hey, Donkey Kong. Where do you see what Mr. Clump did to your elevator? Almost turned you into a milkshake. Almost sent me to the moon. And don't forget the bugle. Oh, the bugle. bugle. So, what do you think? Clump doesn't belong here. We tried, Donkey Kong. It didn't work. I'll tell him in the morning. It'll be a lot easier telling him than Dixie. What do you know? I didn't fall. A lot of good it does me now. <laughs>